One of the first features coming to iOS 18.1 and bringing Apple intelligence to your new device is going to be writing tools. Now, writing tools can help the user summarize, rewrite, or even proofread what they've written in emails or texts to make sure that it's either professional, make it a little nicer, or just check for spelling, whatever the user really wants to do, which is going to be an extremely useful feature for a lot of people that use their phone on the go for business or even personal use. Some of the other things within the writing tools is going to be able to make your writing more concise. It's going to be able to summarize what you're reading. So if somebody sends you a long email, you can quickly summarize it to know exactly what was said quickly and easily. It's going to be able to highlight key points. So again, someone sends you a longer email, a, kind of like a summary, but it's going to be able to bullet point some of those main things that are in the email or text, and you're going to be able to make a list or a table. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work within the feature, but I'm super curious to see exactly what it is. The second feature is a little bit smaller, but still just as useful. Within focus mode, you're going to have the option to reduce interruptions. So kind of like sleep or work or focus, you're going to be able to tell the phone what notifications you're only going to want to see when reducing those interruptions. Many of us gets hundreds, if not thousands of notifications every single day, whether it's Instagram, different games, sports, whatever it may be you can focus on what's gonna be important to you in that time. So if you're working and you only want text messages or you're out and about and you only want certain things, you'll be able to tell the phone exactly what to show you and to hide the other ones, which is gonna be extremely useful. The third and maybe biggest feature or app redesign is in the Photos app. This app has been almost completely redesigned and so many new features have been added within Apple Intelligence. One of the main things I'm sure everyone is looking forward to, which Android has had for a long time, is the ability to delete things in your photos that you don't necessarily want. So if there's somebody in the background or an object that you don't want in there and you couldn't get them out of the way, whatever it may be, you'll be able to go into that photo, tap on it and be able to delete it out. Another really big feature within the Photos app is gonna be the ability to create memories. So you'll be able to type a prompt into the Photos app. Apple Intelligence will be able to read that prompt go through your photos and videos and pinpoint exact moments to be able to pull them into a customized video with different themes, music options, really anything you want to employ within that, it's gonna be able to do. The third feature coming with iOS 18 is a Siri redesign. So Siri has been pretty terrible ever since her, his, its inception way back when. Now we're finally getting it with Apple intelligence. So Siri is going to be able to understand exactly what you're saying. Even if you mumble over words or change direction in your sentence, say you wanted to find the weather in California, but then in the middle, you say find weather in Cali and then you say Oregon, it will be able to understand that and give you the weather for Oregon, which is super useful. Another thing with Siri is the obvious redesign of what Siri looks like on device when you prompt her. So we've all seen the commercials or on the web or anywhere of around the phone. You have the new Siri ring, bright, colorful, almost rainbow like around the sides. To be fair, I really hope Siri is a lot better than just a colorful redesign of not having the circle at the bottom and having something interrupting the entire screen. Another really cool feature of this, though, is you will double tap on the bottom of your screen to pull up Siri to type prompts and then be able to search that in a more discreet fashion. So say you're on public transportation in a restaurant or somewhere you just don't want to speak to Siri out loud and ask a question or tell Siri to do something, you'll be able to type that. It'll be able to infer what you're saying and be able to do anything within, within Siri's new realm. Another really cool thing, but is small, but really helps people understand Apple products is Siri now understands Apple products and anything you tell it to do or have a question about a device or how to do something within settings, it will then be able to prompt you and show you exactly how to do that no matter what you're asking it. And I think this is gonna be a really good feature for people coming to the Apple ecosystem or older people who don't exactly know how to use their phone, be able to get more out of the features that make Apple iPhones, Apple iPhones. The fourth really big upgrade with iOS 18.1 is gonna be within the mail app. Now you can prioritize certain messages and certain senders to always have those messages at the top. And then also Apple intelligence will be able to summarize what was said in the email in a short, concise one to two sentence blurb for you to be able to quickly see if that email needs to be read now and what were the main points within it. So that's gonna be really great for someone who gets a lot of emails to be able to just quickly look through their prioritized 
be able to prioritize those prioritized emails and answer the right ones quickly. And then within the mail app, you also have a quick response feature that you can just tap and it will come up with a quick response based on what you want to say or if you want it more professional or concise or whatever that is, it will be able to handle that and then be able to send that for you. The fifth feature is a little bit weirder and something I don't think I'll personally ever use. And let me know in the comments down below if you think you'll use it, but it's a transcription of phone calls. So you'll now be able to record phone calls from your device and it will be able to transcribe them into your notes app. And then within the notes app, you can use Apple intelligence to summarize what that phone call was about. The last feature that I think is pretty important is Apple's change to NFC. Now, if you've ever tapped payment or you use a credit card tap or hotel key tap, that's NFC. And it kind of goes between different devices to be able to send data and recognize something. But Apple's ecosystem has always been pretty closed off, but now they're opening it up and you're gonna be able to use this with a plethora of more devices. So more car keys are gonna be on your phone and you just need to tap your phone on your car to open the door, hotel room keys, maybe Airbnb or any type of door and lock system that can send codes or tap is now gonna be more accessible. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the new features coming with iOS 18.1, if you're excited to download it and which is your favorite feature. I'm excited, I used the beta over the summer, but once I got my iPhone 16 Pro Max, I just used the regular iOS 18 because it was killing my battery. But that is it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment down below what you're looking forward to the most, and I will see you guys in the next video.